Today we're going to be talking about whether SOS still has the possibility of a short squeeze. Let's get into the video. Hi everyone, my name is Zach and welcome back to Finance Bro. Before we get into the video, I'd like to ask you guys to please leave a comment of your favorite stock of the moment, why it's your favorite stock of the moment, and to also leave a like and subscribe as it really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And if you want two free stocks and you have not made an account with Weeble yet, then go ahead and click the first link in the description and get all signed up. But without any further ado, let's get into the stock for today, which is going to be SOS or SOS Limited. So the topic of today's video is going to be whether or not SOS still has a possibility of a short squeeze. And sadly, I'm going to have to say no. If we do take a look here at the short volume of SOS Limited um, on April 23rd, only about 2.3 million uh, shorts are being or shares are being shorted right now, which is going to come at 11 um, percent short volume ratio. Um, so basically, you know, if you take a look at how, ma how ma many uh, shares were being shorted on this graph right here, it used to be in the 50 to 60 um, range back in October, and in January when the initial, you know, rise in uh, SOS happened, it was even at 40%, so there's a possibility there. But at this point in time, we are sitting at about, you know, between 10 and 20% um, in April. So uh, sadly, this SOS short squeeze probably not going to be able to happen. Um, there would be it has to be a lot more shares being shorted, a lot more of the float being shorted, um, and at this moment, just not really possible. Does that mean that the stock can't go up in the in the future? No, um, but we have been seeing so many more, um, you know, reminders come out about. Um, the lawsuit that um, Hoggins Berman has against um, SOS, it seems like they release um, a reminder every week saying, hey, if you bought shares of SOS, contact us so you can regain some of your losses. Um, honestly, I don't think the, uh, those lawsuits will go anywhere. It's basically just a way for short sellers to make money, in my opinion. I'm not a financial advisor, though, so you know, don't take that as financial advice. But um, anyways, let's get into our first stock for today. Um, so obviously, we had a very good day on Friday. The Dow is up 60, uh, not 67 percent. I be so rich. Um, no, 0.67%. Uh, the NASDAQ was up 1.5% and the S&P was up 1%. So a very good day um, for stocks on Friday after the scare, you know, a little flash crash we had. Not a flash crash at all, but just a bad day on Thursday um, when the uh, Biden's new plan for capital gains got leaked. Um, we'll see if that's actually going to happen. There's been no comment from the White House yet on that, um, but we'll see what happens uh, with that going forward. But good day on Friday to re recuperate those losses we had on Thursday. Um, but anyways, those like uh, let's get into the article for today. Those red flags around China China crypto SOS stock are a warning to stay away. Um, as digital mi uh, currency miners go, this one is too speci uh, speculative to just invite an investment. Well, I think the SOS at about three to four dollars is a bargain if they um, you know if these short sellers aren't right about you know their how how it's a fraudulent stock. If they have done what they have said they've done thus far, they are going to have. Um, you know, be a really good stock to invest in with uh, all everything they're doing with Bitcoin. Um, but let's just read the article a little bit more to see. Um, basically, they just say that um, when it comes to Chinese cryptocurrency, um, the risk is too, uh, just too great to justify taking a position. Um, and that's an opinion they hold. Um, but even more widely held and accepted cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin are volatile assets and prone to huge swings, both positive and negative. Um, yeah, but if you have noticed <laughs> over the past year, um, there are huge swings that goes up $10,000, it goes down $10,000 in the matter of a couple weeks. Um, but it's always, it's always on the upward trajectory. So it may be at 50K now, but it was at just at 60K, it'll get to 60K again. And that's where, you know, companies like this, they're going to uh, see a huge um, uh, shift in how valuable valuable their company is week to week because um, that's going to be like 10 to 15 percent of their portfolio just going down uh, just from Bitcoin going down 10 to 15 percent. Um, but yeah, basically, uh, uh, SOS stock, they go over their last short squeeze. It jumped uh, nearly 30% to 578 on April 7th. Um, and the stock has fallen back down to 414. I believe it's in the threes at this point. Um, 
But yeah, uh, the company's share price went from 144 to 1280. Um, but that really wasn't a short squeeze. Um, it was basically just because uh, the short squeeze would have sent SOS way higher than 1280. Um, uh, it, it did, you know, help SOS along. Um, but at the end of the day, uh, the price just went up because investors were super excited about um, SOS getting into the Bitcoin space. Um, but yeah, so I mean, the rest of this is basically them just saying that um, uh, there's been fraudulent claims made from Hindenburg Research, which if you guys don't know, Hindenburg Research is one of the least reputable um, short sellers in the industry. So um, everything is coming from them and they're involved in this lawsuit and really they they just want to see S West fail so bad. and. Um, how boring does your life have to be to try to make a stock, um, you know, go down by making um, fraudulent claims? Um, and honestly, uh, most of these claims have been debunked by SOS themselves. If you guys want to see how they have been be debunked, watch any number of our videos that we've made on SOS before. Um, but anyways, that's going to be it for this uh, this article. Basically, they're just saying that red flags are um, a warning to stay away from this stock. I think there's a ton of value with this stock. I disagree with this article, but I figured I'd go over it just in case you guys wanted that um, uh, perspective. And now we can get into the technical analysis. So obviously SOS hit that $16 mark. Um, I actually did lose money um, and invested way at the top over here and cut my losses at like 30. I basically lost about 10 to 15% of a small position I took on SOS. Um, and ever since then, um, here, let me delete this real quick. Um, ever since then, I have been watching SOS, but I still haven't made a new position just because um, these, uh, these claims made by short sellers and this lawsuit just keeps people away from this stock. Um, so obviously, ever since then, it's been trading from between four and eight dollars. It'll all of a sudden get some news about, I believe this huge spike in volume you see right here was from when they talked about getting into NFTs. Um, and then ever since then it's sold off. But we have a clear trend reverse, reversal right here with the three white soldiers. Um, so that is very good. Um, I think we've bottomed out here at $3.54. Um, now I'm not saying that they it can't go below that because yes, it has bottomed out um, in my opinion, but short sellers can come out with a new claim, a baseless claim, and people will just listen because um, they want to see S West fail. Um, but if we can make new support here at $4 and not dip below that again, that's what I'm going to be looking for for SOS. I really do think we've hit the bottom, but these, uh, these short sellers will do anything to keep beating this stock down. Um, if we look at the MACD, we are starting a trend back up. I know it's hard to see the yellow on this white, um, but basically we are starting the trend back up on the MACD, so that's very positive to see. Um, and it's looking like we have made support at $4. Um, at least for, uh, for the past couple of days, we'll have to see if that continues. Um, a resistance level we're seeing is about uh, $4.59. If we can get back above that, we can be um, you know, possibly seeing in the $5 range. Um, the RSI obviously is oversold um, when we reached that bottom. Um, came back up, honestly not overbought. Pretty much uh, the stock is trading the way it should be right now. Um, it has consolidated ever since um, this massive spike in volume, um, but um, that was from a while ago. Um, so obviously today, uh, trend reversal, and we are looking for SOS to stay above $4, and we're looking for it to break $4.60. That's going to be our next level, and if it does that, we can return to about the $5.10 level um, next, and probably the next week. Um, so yeah, that's going to be it for my technical analysis, so I'll see you in whatever I do next. As for my overall thoughts on SOS stock, I'm very bullish long term on this stock. Um, the only thing that keeps me from investing and probably what keeps a lot of people from investing in SOS is the short sellers. They can pound this stock into the dirt and um, bring them back to where they were before. Um, but all the claims that have been made against SOS um, 
have been rebutted and have been, you know, uh, there, there hasn't been any response um, ever since SOS has actually um, rebutted these claims. Um, and they're not saying, no, you actually did do this. We have this proof. There's been none of that. Um, the, the lawsuit is ongoing. The lawsuit has been ongoing for over a month at this point. We will see if anything comes of it. Um, but that's the only thing is uh, I just don't know what, what else these short sellers have up their sleeve. You don't really want to mess with them, especially when there's not too much volume at this point in time with our SOS stock. Um, but at the end of the day, I do like the long-term outlook of this stock. I just want to see if we can hold this uh, $4 support for longer than a couple of days. Um, but we'll see what happens. But real quick, I want to remind you guys I'm not a financial advisor and that this is not financial advice. If you do want financial advice, make sure you seek it out from a professional financial advisor. But if you are interested in buying SOS stock and you have not made an account with Weevil yet, what are you doing? You got to get in the pre-market and after hours with us, all you got to do is make an account, deposit $100, and you can get two free stocks worth up to $1,850. But that is going to be it for today. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe as it really helps with the YouTube algorithm and it shows we're doing something right here. But my name is Zach and I'll see you in the next video.